So, Christianity, the world's largest religion. 2.4 billion followers, 33% of the global population proclaiming to be Christians. The question is, why are so many people Christians if it's a flawed belief? And why does Christianity feel good to so many people if it's wrong? How is this possible? The answer to this question is fairly simple, and it's two parts. First of all, the majority of people around the world are not deep thinkers. They don't like to dive too far down, to the, down into philosophical or logical arguments because, because, quite frankly, it takes too much time. Quite frankly, it takes too much effort. Instead, they would rather just go with what sounds good on the surface. Secondly, and more importantly, Christianity hijacks a lot of universal truths, things that really are true. And the universal truths that it hijacks are some of the most powerful that exist. Let's get into some examples. First of all, Christianity promotes a lot of great moral tenets. Things such as don't lie, don't murder, don't steal, love your neighbor, forgive, forgiveness, etc. These are, all, these are all very important, and they're all also true. Secondly, people have an inner drive or innate feeling with, with inside themselves to want to be appreciative or thankful to someone or something when things in their life go good. When something good happens to you, you have that inner feeling of wanting to be appreciative or thankful and tell someone thank you. Um, Christianity plays on foundational logical truths that people, to know, that people know to be true, such as something cannot come from pure nothingness. Therefore, the universe must have a creator because the universe is not eternal in the past and the universe did not create itself. Uh, next, how about prayer? Prayer makes you feel like someone cares about you, that you're important and that your life matters. It makes you feel like someone is listening to you and hears your pain. We all need this. It makes us feel better. Everyone needs someone to talk to. Uh, next, Christianity offers a story of an afterlife, of eternal bliss. The thought of heaven, in fact, is a very comforting feeling, not only for yourself, but also if you've ever lost a loved one. Heaven, in fact, is a necessary, true, real, objective place. Although it's not the idea that Christians have in their mind exactly, Christian, Christians and Christianity hijack this truth as well. Also, whether you like it or not, it's a normal human emotion to want to have someone that you can make proud. People enjoy having a set of rules that they can follow. It makes them feel like they're on the right path and that their daily actions are validated. It makes people feel as if they're achieving something and pleasing someone who wants to see them do good. The same way when you were a child and your parents told you that you had done a good job, it made you feel good inside. Next, a day of judgment. Everyone must ultimately be judged for their actions. Christianity steals this foundational truth of fairness and justice. They hijack it. Next, a sense of community. Community. A sense of community is very healthy. Everyone wants to feel love and feel like they're part of something and part of a greater purpose, a greater good, and all working towards one goal. This is the service of the church. This is the service that the church feels. And why people feel that going to church is so beneficial. It's a place to gather where others make you feel cared about, share the same beliefs, and are there for one another. This has extraordinary physical as well as mental benefits. It's a true fact. And finally, and most importantly of all, most importantly of all, man, Christianity hijacks the truth and the fact that God really does exist. You see, here's the thing. People don't want to give up on any of these things because they know in their heart that they're true. And they are true. And they're very powerful. They're foundational truths. For example, they know in their heart that God exists. And they feel like if they turn their back on Christianity, then it would be turning their back on God. Or their personal relationship with their creator. creator, Or the other people who care about them. But that's not true. That's not true. Christianity is not the only way. Christianity, in fact, is not the way at all. But people think that it is. People think that if they give up on God, it's giving up on the truth. It's not. You could turn to theistic essentialism at any time. The problem is, just because dinner has a lot of essential ingredients that are good, it doesn't make the entire meal good for you. Christianity has existed for so long and has so many followers because it hijacks a lot of real powerful known truths. But the problem becomes, Christianity then surrounds these known truths with a ton of illogical falsehoods and false narratives, essentially adding a bunch of lies to a collection of stories that people grasp, grasp onto because it feels good. It's really nothing more than an appeal to emotion, while using powerful truths to surround other nonsensical claims. And that, my friends, is the trick 
of Christianity and why Christianity is so big. I'll see you soon, man. I'm the Atheist Killer. Don't forget to check out Theistic Essentialism online, and I hope you're being safe, man. I'm out. Peace.